Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. Time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, May the 1st, yes, of 2016. Happy Beltane to my pagan friends and happy May Day to the rest of you. And we got a great reading this week, some really nice energies. We'll go over the energies of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us at the end of this upcoming week. Do stay tuned. A very pleasant ride. Yes, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Uh, this card was not so pleasant. The Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords in Tide of Fertility is ascribed to Moon in Aquarius. This is not a particularly good energy. Uh, the Moon dealing with tides and fluctuations and the fixed air sign of Aquarius tends to make for some foggy thinking, tends to make us vacillate to go back and forth in our thoughts, unable to make up our minds. Not a shocker, uh, we did have Mercury go into retrograde here just recently, so that's going to tend to contribute to that state of mind that happened on the 28th just a couple of days ago. And of course this tends to be characterized by some fuzzy thinking, uh, for this reason, not the best time to sign contracts, make long-term commitments. Other than that, it's fine. You go about your life, you do what you have to do, you just avoid doing that kind of signing and committing. But energies are going to be good this week, as we're going to see in the cards coming up. That's right. The card for the present, what we're coming into now, is the Three of Wands. Now, we've had this come up recently, and it's a good card attributed to Sun in Aries and entitled Virtue is being in touch with your inner self, your inner virtue, your ability to lead your way, to find your path, and to truly follow it. Also a good time for new beginnings. Three of Wands is great for new beginnings. Any new venture tends to be blessed by this card. And the blessings again come because we are living in the Tao, living in our true self, living with the divine plan, however you want to say it. And this always tends to bring us wonderful rewards. It's fitting in astrologically. The moon is going into Aries here on Tuesday. Okay, Right now it's in Pisces going into, going into Aries. And we're going to find that the energies are really wonderful by the end of the week with a new moon coming up. Yes, the third and final card, the card for the end of the week, is the Ten of Cups attributed to Mars and Pisces. It's basically the idea of complete fulfillment or perfected success. As a card was entitled in the Golden Dawn, entitled Satiety in the Thoth Tarot. And it's coinciding beautifully with Friday night's new moon in Taurus. Ooh, very nice. The moon is exalted in the sign of Taurus. And moon in Taurus tends to mean fertility, a great time for planting seeds, figuratively or literally. So if you've got a new project in mind, this will be a great time, a wonderful time to begin it, a great time to plant those seeds and know that we can have much, much, much abundance in all levels and in all ways coming to us after this period of time. So this is a wonderful time for starting something new and knowing that it will bear fruit for us in the near future. Well, there you go. The blog blaze, you blazed with it. A short blog, but a good blog. I appreciate your support. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.